What is up you guys? It is Katya Books. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another supplement review. Yes, we're doing another protein batter today and this is one I'm quite excited for. I mean, not just because it's another protein powder, but because of who made this protein powder. So obviously you saw from the thumbnail, but we are trying the new vegan protein powder by Greg Tuss Greg Doucette, sorry, um, and in his company HTLT, which is harder than last time. So if you aren't following him, go follow him. He's a pretty cool guy, very knowledgeable about supplements and all that stuff. So I was actually quite surprised when I saw that he came out with a vegan protein powder. He didn't really announce it or anything. I was just like, once on his website or something, and then yeah, boom, it was there. And I was like, oh my gosh, no way. I need to try this so bad. And not only did he just come out with that, but he came out with a chocolate peanut butter flavor. Oh my goodness, one of my favorite flavors ever out there because chocolate and peanut butter are the best combinations. So yeah, super stoked to try this and just quickly analyze it with you guys. And then at the end, after tasting it, giving you my overall thoughts, feelings, if it's worth it, all that fun jazz about it. So if you haven't already, subscribe. Click that like button. Check out all the other supplement reviews that I've done since that's the main premise of this channel. So anyways, yes, getting started, diving right into it. This stuff right here has about 28 servings and per serving it's 130 calories, three fats, five carb and 21 protein. So if you're wondering what the protein source is, it looks like it's pea protein and rice protein. So that's gonna give you your full amino profile, which is perfect. And then it just has cocoa powder, of course, because it's a chocolate peanut butter protein flavor, peanut flour, probably for the peanut taste, natural artificial flavors, sand gum, guar gum, silicone dioxide, sucralose, and ac acesulfame potassium. So those are the sweeteners. I'm someone who usually like goes for a stevia sweetener or something, but sucralose, acesulfate, and potassium, super safe for you to consume. Obviously, unless you're eating like a tub of this size of it, that's gonna be unhealthy, but a little bit is not bad. And plus, I will just note, they are, he's not using sugar alcohols, so it'll be a lot easier on anyone who might have like IBS or some kind of gut issue. So those being like erythritol, sorbitol, anything with an OL at the end. So super stoked that he's not using those kind of sweeteners and rather sucralose and excessively potassium. So anyways, that's all it says on here. It doesn't really give any further breakdown or information. So it's not like it has a fruits and veg blend, probiotics, nothing super fancy like that, but it's a simple vegan protein powder for post-workout, midday, whatever, whenever you need to add a little protein powder. So let's just open it up already and try it out. So I'm gonna mix it up with just some water in a mason jar and then I'm gonna taste it for you guys. All right, so I'm mixing it up. There's still a nice chunk left behind. So I am gonna need something else to finish mixing it up. But while I do that, I want to say that when I was pouring in the scoop of protein, a little piece of plastic kind of fell out. So I don't know if someone wants to tell the quality control, but that's kind of sketch. I'm glad I didn't like drink that because when I like picked it out, it was sharp. So it wasn't a piece of the paper, you know, topping of the protein powder bucket. But anyways, that's call for concern. <laughs> um, and then also there was like two scoopers in the bucket. So I don't know how that happened. I don't know if I say thank you or what. So super random, but anyways, it smelled really good when I did open it up. I will say that it was nostalgic for me. Oh my gosh, it brought me back way to the days when I used to work at GNC so long ago and I used to take um, Optimum Nutrition's whey protein powder. Come on, we all started on that protein. That was all of our first protein powders when we all got into lifting, I swear. But anyways, it, it reminded me of their like chocolate or chocolate peanut butter protein powder. So kind of excited to try this anyways. Oh yeah, that smells really good. All right, maybe I didn't put enough water. I don't know. But anyways, I like a thick shake. So let's try it out. Mmm, okay. It, the best way to explain the chocolate 
It's like a milk chocolate. And then the peanut butter comes through too. Wow, perfect balance. I think it's thick because of the peanut flour to create the peanut butter portion of the flavor. I'm gonna add a little more water because it is quite thick. And I added a fair amount of water, so I do like that, but I want to more easily be able to drink it. So yeah, still a few chunks like left behind, but that's okay. There might've been some moisture it at the bottom of this jar that could have caused that. Wow, with even adding more water, it's still nice and creamy and thick. I am loving the consistency of this protein powder, super smooth. I remember when people used to always be like, oh my gosh, vegan protein powders, they're always so gritty. Nowadays, yo, like Live Body, Sun Warrior, and now HTLT, this is smooth. This is so freaking good, wow. Mmm, I'm astonished. I'm amazed, perplexed. How is this done? This is just like perfect. I might like this better than the Live Body's chocolate peanut butter, protein powder. I love all their other flavors. However, for chocolate peanut butter, I don't know, this kind of wins. Mm. Oh my gosh, wow. All right, I'm gonna finish this up, clean up my mess I have over here, and then we'll go over the final specs, prices, Overall thoughts, recommendations, that kind of stuff. All right, guys, so it's time to give my overall thoughts and opinions on the new HTLT vegan protein from Great You Set. Wow, that was freaking delicious. So going over the price on the website, it is $39.99, so roughly 40 US dollars. And that is definitely worth the price. However, there's a little caveat. The shipping was $18. I've never had to pay so much for shipping. And at first I thought, okay, maybe it's being shipped from Canada. However, it is actually manufactured in the USA. So I don't know why shipping is so much. I don't know if he does something like you pay over $100 and you get free shipping, but that made it to like $58.60, which is kind of costly for a tub of protein. I think in my opinion. And one that doesn't like provide fruits and veg blend, probiotics, but I would definitely say I'd give this one a 10 out of 10. Besides finding a little bit of plastic in there, would I buy that again? Most likely, there is a chance. If there is a way to get lower prices on shipping, yo, I'd be buying this right now. However, I may hold off a little bit on it. But do I recommend it? Apps of frickin' Absolutely. Oh my gosh, if you're someone who's sensitive to whey protein, lactose intolerant, allergic to dairy in general, you guys would absolutely love this protein powder. I guarantee. So yeah, it may be a little extra for you. I don't know if shipping's gonna vary depending on where you live in the USA, Canada, across the world if he does inter international shipping, but I do recommend it. Maybe you won't find plastic in there. I might have to just like email them and be like, hey, Make sure nobody else gets plastic because I want everybody to try this. It is so good. So yes, I loved trying this. I hope he comes out with more flavors because you know I am going to try that as soon as I can. So if you did enjoy this review, don't forget to give it a nice big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what else you want me to try. Maybe I'll have to try his pre-workout now. Let me know if you want me to in the comment section below. Otherwise, I love you guys, and I will catch you in the next video. See ya.